Hello everybody, welcome to the new 1.8 update, and we're just going to be looking at all the new features that came with this update, and let's get started. So the first item we have here is red sandstone. Red sandstone can be crafted with red sand the same exact way as regular sand can be crafted, and yeah, you can also find... Um, chiseled red sandstone which is basically a wither while regular sandstone is a creeper face and it also comes in a smooth variant and you can, with the red sandstone you can just create stairs and uh, slabs so the next thing we have is granite granite can be found anywhere naturally in your world and if you really want you can turn it into polished granite and the way you do that is you take regular granite, put it in a crafting table like that, and you got polished granite. The next thing is diorite. It can also be found anywhere in your world, and you can also craft polished diorite the same exact way. Pretty cool. yep. And the last new type of stone added is andesite. Andesite can also be found anywhere in your world, and you can also turn into a polished andesite. I'll show you right now. The next new block they add is horse dirt. Um, Alright, so it's basically, it looks very similar to regular dirt, but it's like, it looks like a little bit more moisturized, I guess you could say. And yeah, get grass can't spread to it, so if you really want dirt in your yard and you don't want grass to spread to it, boom, make horse dirt. And by the way, I'm not going to show any of the crafting recipes but besides besides these um, in this because, I mean, you can do that elsewhere. But yeah, the next thing we have here is the sponge. And basically, yeah, it actually looks a lot different than the sponge before it. Anyways, you can actually... Okay, sorry, my friend texted me. Anyways, so the sponge has got revamped. It looks a lot better, and it's actually useful. Yes, it's actually useful, and it can actually be used, I mean, gained in survival by killing a mob I'll show you in a minute. But it's actually useful, you ready? Boom. The next four blocks that they have added is Prismian. Prismian Bricks, Dark Prismian, and Sea Lantern. So you have a new light source and you got some new cool blocks. And it can be found in the new temple that has been added. It's an underwater temple and I will show you that in a minute. So basically the new temple spawns um, in the ocean and I just spawned up this new world and uh, let's go look for it. Um, I guess I'll speed run. Alright, so I've been looking forever and I cannot find it, so I think I'm just going to post a picture of it on the screen now. Alright, cool. So then, so they've also added new types of uh, fences and doors. So they, this is a spruce door. It can just be crafted like a regular door just with spruce wood. And the fences actually have a brand new crafting recipe. Um, I will show you that. And basically, just like this, but with any type of wood. So basically, I'm just making oak fence, but you could substitute any of the type of wood to make the different type of fence. So the next two we have are birch fences, jungle fences, birch doors, and jungle doors. So as you can see, the spruce and the birch, they they're not they don't have any transparency to them, which I kind of like. And yeah, but the jungle one on the other hand actually has transparency and it looks really cool actually. So yeah, just like any other door, just. And the last two new doors and fences they added are the chocolate bar, or the dark oak wood door. I like calling it a chocolate bar because it's a chocolate bar. And dark oak fences. And 
and then there's also this acacia door. It looks like it kind of looks like a what do you call those things? Shutters. That's what it looks like. That would be really nice. And acacia wood fences. Oh yeah, and they also have uh, they have the fence gates now. I forgot to show that. But, yeah. And this is just the regular boring. No one cares about this door. So if you saw this before, you probably know what I'm doing, but these are armor stands. Um, you can put armor, heads, player heads, so yeah, you can put any type of armor. So if you want to grab it, you just right click where it is, and boom. So I'm just going to put armor, Alright, cool. So the next thing they've added is banners. Banners are really cool in my opinion. You can make any color of them. And like I said, I'm not going to show the crafting recipes, at least in this video. I might make one with crafting recipes. But... So basically, you can actually paint the banners with any type of dye you want. So you can put a banner in, and you can actually do like a ton of different designs. Like if I do that, it will cause it will make a stripe right there. And if I put it on top, Guess what? It makes the stripe on top. And you can just put as many layers as you want, like you did. So say I want to do that. Okay. So say you want that, and you want to make a little, some, uh, stupid. But say this is an American flag, which is, Alright, so the next thing they've added is iron trap doors. And as you can see, you cannot open them with your hand like regular trap doors, but you can open them with a redstone signal. So I think those become very useful in the future. The next thing they've added, your eyes are not deceiving you. These are bunnies. They're freaking bunnies. Um, so basically you can actually tame bunnies with carrots, which I don't have. Um, Alright, so basically okay, yeah. Alright, so basically you can tame them with carrots, so get out. But anyways, you can actually kill the bunnies and get, yes, and I'll show you this now, so, I don't like it. As you can see, he, he dropped this thing called Rabbit Hide. Rabbit Hide is used to make re regular leather, I believe, I'm uh, not quite sure, I don't remember, but it's good to trying to get the so as you can see, they drop raw rabbit and you can eat it. And you can actually cook this rabbit and make it into a cooked rabbit. And you can also make rabbit stew, which I think is pretty cool. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, get my food down. But first, okay. So right here is a sheep. You know what I'm going to do with this sheep? I'm going to kill him cook him and eat him. Yes, they actually drop food now. Like, I've had so many situations where all I could find was sheep and I was starving in my world. Like, I'm pretty sure that's happened to everyone at least six times. And they've actually added two new mobs besides the bunnies. Um, they've added a gar this thing called the Guardian. It's basically a water creature, but I'm going to spawn it on land because why not? It actually looks really cool. I'll show you. Look at this thing. Awesome. And his eye actually moves. Oh, guys. And that's one of his attacks. He shoots you with a beam, but I don't know if it does. Oh, yeah, but it does on land. It does. I lied. Uh, 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 get over here. No. Why? Guys, ugh, you know what? No, I'm not dealing with you. Alright, so now I can actually. Dang it! Ugh, I still ate it. But, okay. Alright. Alright, so another cool thing they added is well, the enchantment system has been completely revamped. Like, as you can see, that you now have this little 
thing right here. So if you want to enchant something, say I take this iron pick, and it actually gives me a hint of what it's going to be. Um, as you can see, Fortune 1, this requires two lapis lazuli and two levels. So, so you have to actually put the lapis lazuli in, and then you can use it. If you don't have any lapis lazuli, it says you need it. And so, yeah, I got Fortune 1. Let's try the shovel. Um, say I want Silk Touch. Uh, requires two. Let's see. Huh. Alright. So, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's go to the next. Alright, so the next mob they added that I actually almost forgot to show is the Endermite. And I am in. Alright. The Endermite. So basically, um, after you kill an Enderman, there's a. There's a small chance that these things, will, uh, there's a small chance that these things will spawn and wreck your day. So, give me my axe, give me my axe. No, 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 I want it. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. So yeah, those little turds are evil. Don't, don't mess with them. Stop it. Stop. I am trying to talk. So basically, this is probably one of the coolest blocks, probably my new favorite block that they've added, and it's called a slime block, and I go really high, and boom, no, okay, I failed, I failed, I failed big time, let me go to game mode S actually, no, wait, no, what am I doing, um, alright, so, you fall, boom, it bounces you straight up, I believe it's like 80% of the height that you fall from, it bounces you up that high, and... There's actually one more feature that I'm going to show, and it is, there's a new game mode. It's called Spectator Mode. And as you can see, you're just pretty much just like an F1. You can't really get out of it. Um, if you go to F5, you're just a floating head thing, kind of transparent stuff. It's pretty cool. Like, I, I can see this being very useful on servers. Uh, yeah, this is really nice. And I don't think you can pick up any items either. Yeah, you can't. This is just... I, I like it. I really do. It's really nice. Yeah. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for today. Um, if you enjoyed, please leave a rating. It would be much appreciated. Uh, click that like button and subscribe for daily Minecraft videos. And if you're wondering what that is, that is going to be for a texture pack that I'm going to be releasing probably in a few days. And so stay tuned, subscribe, have fun everybody.